Hello there fellas and welcome back to how to Android soundboard. So in this video we're going to add a recycler view to our app that will yeah be the main layout for our app and we also have to create a button layout for that one. So let's just begin with our button layout. Go into your resource full uh, layout and create create a new layout resource file. I'm going to call that sound item XML and it will be a relative layout. So give it a width of a hundred dp and a height of a hundred forty dp. Now we will have to add s some things to our layout like an image view to display our button design. We'll have a layer width of 100 dp and a layer height of also 100 dp. We're giving it an ID like um, image view item. And we're also yeah, aligning it in the layout here to be at the top of the layout. And we want to center it in the layout. Although the measurements for the width are like equally to uh, to the whole layout, but just to to be sure that it's centered. We're going to add the center horizontal parameter and set it to true. And now we just need a source file. So for that one, I created some very simple yeah, button designs with Adobe Photoshop. That's how they look like. And if you want to create your own designs, here are the measurements. For MDPI, you need 100 on 100 pixel. For HDPI, you need 150 to 150 pixels. For XHDPI, you need 200 to 200 pixels. And for XXHDPI, you need 300 to 300 pixels. So let us just add those drawables to our resources by going into the resource folder and just, yeah, drag and drop or copy and paste them in there. If you just create these folders, just be sure that the name of the folder will be drawable minus re the resolution. Okay, let's go on and set the picture for our button or the drawable Android source drawable button. Okay, next thing we need is a text view to show our uh, our sound name or yeah button name, how you like to call it, and this. It's going to have a width of 100 dp and a height of 40 dp. And it should also have an ID of, yeah, text view item. Well, let me just edit that one. It should be a capital I. And we want to place that below our image view item and also center the view itself. But we also want to, the text to be centered. So we're giving it a gravity of center horizontal and align text alignment of gravity. So that's how you make sure that it is definitely centered in the view itself. And it also needs a text size. And by doing some exp 
experiments uh, on my sound, my own soundboard, I figured out that 13 SP is a good text size, so it won't be too small and not too large. Just it will fit. And I also want the text color to be white. One last parameter that's very important is text all caps. Because if you just give it a text, like just let me show you. Uh, just send a temporary background here. If I'm giving it a text like um a button well it will show up right here <laughs> so but uh, sometimes it can be that it will show up in all caps on the smartphone so we don't want that so just give it a text all caps of false and yeah now we're ready to yeah add in the recycle view but first let me just take that out here now we can go on and first add the recycle v support library compile com dot android support recycle view v seven twenty three four zero sync that now we can add our recycle v to our activity soundboard layout type in brackets for and then Android support seven widget recycler view and it also needs a width I can put match parent in there and a height of also match parent as you can see there are some items in the toolbar and we don't want that so we're set uh, we're positioning it under or below the toolbar and I also want it to have an ID um, let's name it soundboard recycler view well and that's it for for implementing it into our layout now we have to code some things and to make it work, we have to create a recycle view adapter that will just handle all implementation of, like it's getting the, uh, the layout from here and then setting it for each item and uh, well, sending the text and the like. So go into Java, Germany or your package <laughs> and create a new Java class corner that soundboard recycler adapter that will extend a recycler view dot adapter and as you've seen um there were brackets that's for a view holder and I'm gonna name that view holder soundboard view holder and just implement the methods for the adapter and we need an extra class for the view holder but don't just uh, create an extra class you should probably add the class inside the uh, soundboard recycler adapter class because if you don't do that it can cause some errors or bugs that are not very likeable <laughs> Yeah, so just create a public class soundboard view holder that extends a recycle view view holder, and now we can just import the class and create the constructor for our soundboard view holder. So before we go on with the actual adapter, we want to get access to to our yeah to our text view, and that will be done 
by just defining a text view. I will name that hmm, item text view. And inside the constructor, I will define it by just giving it uh, item text view equals to a text view item. You can find it, that one in the item view get, or in the view you get from the constructor. And find view by ID r dot um, ID dot text view item. And yeah, now we can just set the text from the view holder. You will see that later. And now we have to modify the adapter a little bit more. So we're going into the onCreate view holder. And there it, it will just get our layout and put it for each item to yeah, recycle it. So if we Define a new view. Uh, I call it item view. It will inflate a layout by doing it with a layout inflator. It's getting from our context, from our parent context, and just inflate our layout of sound item. And it also needs a root. No, we don't need a root here, just put null in there and return a new soundboard view holder with the item view. Well, to fill it, we need some content. So I want to declare a constructor here, um, public, oops public soundboard recycler adapter and it will get a string array filled with yeah sound object I will call them so and we also have to define a private string array also we'll just call that sound object now just set the private string array to our string array we will get from the constructor. Oh. <laughs> Equals to sound objects. So the string array will be filled with some names. And we just want to set the name for each item. So we're doing that by calling the holder or the view holder. Oops, what is it doing here? <laughs> so holder dot item text view set text and get in the string from the, the position of the item. And we also have to return here in get item count the length of the string array. So that will work if we put some content in there. And for that one, we will go into our soundboard activity and declare some things. Like we need a recycler view. I'm gonna call that one um, sound view and we also ha need a soundboard recycler adapter I'm calling that sound adapter and we can just right away set that to a new soundboard recycler adapter with a string array that we will define later <laughs> so don't do that now um, and we also need a recycle view a layout manager and it killed my override. Okay, that's good. 
uh, that layout manager will be called on well sound layout manager now in the on create we will bind the recycler view to our uh, red layout recycler view so sound view equals to a recycler view object font view by id r dot id dot sound board recycler view we're setting the layout manager this equals to a new grid layout manager you can also do a um, linear layout manager right yeah but uh, we need a grid layout manager to have these three buttons next to each other and then it's going to uh, build a list so this one needs a context and the count of columns in there just set in the layout manager to sound layout manager and the adapter sound view dot set adapter to our sound adapter and now we will define a string array here with some names going to name that hmm, sound list it's given it three names for the first time like hello what's up and my uh, danger zone <laughs> well and also reference uh, here now we can try our app and run it our on our adb device so the activity started now you can see there are our three buttons they don't have any functions uh, at the moment, but yeah, they're there. Uh, so to check for some bugs, we just well um, copy them to have some more objects. Uh, going to do three times the same, and then just some other things like uh, uh, I don't know Minecraft. Uh, he 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 ha 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 um boom <laughs> and then just some more randoms like I don't know uh Pikachu Shut up <laughs> and well reference so just rerun there and our, our items and when we scroll we can get the right ones on the right place or the right position they all have the right name so that's it for this video be sure to leave a like or a comment if i helped you and well i hope to see you in the next video bye bye